Okay, hello everyone. Our lesson for today is all about arc and central angles. So, in this video, I will going to discuss about semicircle, the right angle, the minor arc, the major arc, and some of central angles and so on. Okay, we have the circle. We have point L, point B, point E are points on the circle. And we have this point O, so this is what we call the center of the circle. And we have two rays. Okay, we have ray 1 and ray 2. And this part is what we call the central angle. So a central angle of a circle is an angle formed by two rays whose vertex is the center of the circle. Okay, and we have this vertex. And this one is what we call an arc and another arc. So this is minor arc and we have the major arc. Okay, circle. Ang sukat ng circle is 360 degrees. Okay, ang kabuang bilog ay 360 degrees. So when we say semicircle, ito yung kalahati ng bilog. Okay, kung ang bilog ay 360 degrees, ang kalahati niya is 180 degrees. Again, semicircle, it is an arc with a measure equal to one half the circumference of the circle. Okay, so for example, ito yung circle natin. Uh, we have the circle O or the symbol circle and then O. Nininame natin yung circle based doon sa center nito. Okay, so the center is... Uh, point O, therefore, this is circle O. Then, now we have the points on the circle. We have point U, point S, and point A. Okay, if we're going to describe the semicircle, we have an arc USA. Okay, usually, nininame natin ang semicircle ng um, dalawang end point and then another point on the circle. Say, for example, point U, point S, point A, or the arc USA. Okay, so that is the name of the semicircle. The measure of the semicircle is 180 degrees. Okay, now, um, so meron tayong bilog, which is nakahati sa apat. Okay, so we have angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4. So, sum of central angles. Symbol of angle, ayan, that is the symbol of an angle. So, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 360 degrees. So, pag pinag-plus natin ang angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4, it is equal to 360 Okay, next, sum of central angles. Okay, so, recall lang natin na yung semicircle is 180 degrees. Ang right angle is 90 degrees. And then, if arc M80 is semicircle and angle MOA is right angle, the measure of angle MOH is 40 degrees. Find the measure of angle AOT. And find the measure of angle HOT. Okay, since yung arc natin, arc M80 is semicircle 180. Okay, and then angle MOA is right angle. Therefore, it is 90 degrees. Okay, if this is 90 degrees, 40 degrees, and then... Uh, find the m uh, find the measure of angle AOT. Okay, since 180 ang semicircle minus the 90 degrees, therefore angle AOT is also 90 degrees. 90 plus 90 equals 180 degrees. Since arc M80 is semicircle. Okay, so find the measure of angle HOT. So, if the measure of angle or if an arc M80 is semicircle, therefore, arc MHT is also a semicircle, which is, uh, it measures 180 degrees. So, 
So therefore, if it is 180 degrees minus the 40 degrees of MOH, angle HOT is 140 degrees. Okay, if we're going to add 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 40 degrees plus 140 degrees, the answer is 360 degrees. Okay, again, recall natin that the circle is 360, semicircle is 180. Okay, next, um, this symbol is what we call an arc. Okay, arc is a part of a circle. And we have the what we call the minor arc. Arc or minor arc, it is an arc measures less than the semicircle. Okay, if semicircle is 180 degrees less than the semicircle is less than 180 degrees yun yung minor arc okay less than siya ng 180 degrees okay example ng less than 180 degrees 50 degrees 90 degrees 170 degrees 10 degrees Okay, yan yung example ng minor arc. Okay, now let's solve the major arc. Major arc, it is an arc's measures greater than the semicircle. Kung ang measure ng semicircle is 180 degrees, therefore, ang measurement ng major arc is greater than 180 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, mas mataas sa 180 degrees. Okay, example, 250 degrees, 350 degrees, 190 degrees, and 310 degrees, and so on. Okay, so let's study the minor arc and the major arc. So, first recall that the circle measures 360 degrees. Okay, this arc is what we call the minor arc, and we name this minor arc, as arc LE and this arc is what we call the major arc and we're going to name this arc or the major arc arc LVE okay um, usually pag minor arc nininim lang natin siya ng dalawang letters pag major arc tatlong letters okay so if the minor arc measures 115 degrees then, the major arc measures 245 degrees. Okay, why 245 degrees? Okay, again, circle measures 360 degrees. Okay, minus the minor arc, which is 115. Therefore, the major arc is 245 degrees. Okay, so now let's have an arc and central angle. Okay, central angle is equal to the intercepted arc. Big sabihin, kung ano yung sukat ng central angle, yun din ang sukat ng intercepted arc. Okay, so let's compare central angle and its intercepted arc. Okay, we have four columns. First column is the central angle, second is the measure of the central angle, third column is the measure of intercepted arc, and fourth column is the measure of intercepted arc. Okay, so now study the given circle, and it divides into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 angles, okay, 5 different angles. Okay, so we're going to name some central angles. Okay, um, angle LOE. It measures 110 degrees. Okay. And an arc. An arc LE. So this is arc LE. It also measures 110 degrees. Okay. Kung ano yung measurement ng central angle, yun din yung measurement ng arc. Or intercepted arc. Arc EOD is 70 degrees and the intercepted arc is arc ED 
and the measure of central angle or the measure of an arc is 70 degrees. Next, next central angle is angle LOS. It measures 40 degrees. And we have arc LS, the intercepted arc of LOS. It measures 40 degrees. And angle SOV, the central angle SOV is 90 degrees. And arc SB also measures 90 degrees. Okay, angle DOV measures 50 degrees. The intercepted arc DV measures 50 degrees. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Matish, and then click playlist. Thank you.